Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be turning candy into cute girls starting with this gummy worm gummy bear girl. This was the top request on my last turning things into cute girls video, which has become officially a series now. So, uh, you know, if you have anything you want turned into a cute girl illustration, uh, let me know because I got this idea from the comments. I also was kind of inspired to do it because I recently watched Wreck-It Ralph 2 and I was reminded of all the um, Sugar Rush character designs, which are super adorable. I knew I wanted to do gummy candy because the transparency and the vibrant colors would be a really cool element in a character design. I also decided to use some rainbow tape style candy or ribbon. I'm not actually sure what you call this, but um, they're sometimes like sour and they just come in all these little rainbowy colors and they look, really look like ribbon. So I thought I would use that on her outfit in a couple different places. I gave her these big gummy bear like decals on the top of her head and then piled on lots of gummy worms as her hair. I had a heck of a time inking her for some reason. I don't know if I was just feeling off today. Do you ever have those days when like you're trying to draw and your hand is just not cooperating. That was kind of what I was going through with her, but once I finished this one, I ended up feeling more warmed up and having an easier time with all the other characters. All of my lines just looked like actual garbage and it took me forever to finish inking her as a result because I kept undoing and redoing and undoing the same lines over and over again. I actually had so much trouble with it that it took twice as long as every other drawing I did for this video. I gave her sort of a structured cupcakey kind of skirt so that it would match with the really bubbly sort of design of most of the gummy stuff. And I also wanted to give her a little tiny gummy bear in the center of the ribbon on her chest. I thought that would be super, super cute. Her sleeves are also transparent. I think they kind of look like those popping boba if you guys have ever been to a bubble tea place and um, they have the they have two different types of the little pearls in the bottom. One type is like, really brightly colored and like explodes when you bite them. I actually don't like them in real life, but I was kind of emulating that with her sleeves and I thought it ended up looking really, really cute. I tried to stick to the colors that are actually using gummy worms and I realized they're actually kind of ugly colors that I typically would not want to use. I immediately started gravitating towards like aqua and like colors like that and then I realized that like gummy worms aren't frequently blue. They're usually some mixture of red, green, and yellow. So I forced myself to stick with that and I spent a lot of time trying to make it look gummy and transparent um, by doing hard highlights and just blending in the colors together so that it looks like sort of a sugary blend like you know, a gummy worm doesn't really have hard rings on it. It's more of like a gradient. So I tried to incorporate that by blending the colors together um, in a striped sort of pattern. I kept having issues where the blending tool I was using was picking up the white from outside my selection layer. I still don't know how to avoid that and it's really annoying, but um, eventually I got it to look kind of how I wanted it to look. I ended up giving her two different colors of eyes and I made them both bright candy colors because I just wanted to go ham on how candy colored and bright and saturated this whole design was. I wanted it to be almost overwhelmingly sugary sweet. So here she is. She's looking very sweet, very candy land, very sugar rush. And as is becoming tradition in these videos, I couldn't think of a name for her. Gummy worm just doesn't really lend itself to a natural name. If you can think of one, let me know. Next up is a character design for candy cane or peppermint candies in general. I thought that I should probably do this one since Christmas is kind of coming up, um, at least December is coming up. A lot of people get really agitated if you get excited about Christmas too early, but I'm excited for Halloween in like February, so uh, I guess I don't know the meaning of too early. <laughs> Uh, basically what I wanted to do with her is make a pretty peppy character, like a little peppy peppermint. Uh, ugh, oh my god. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, I wanted her to have a lot of energy, especially because my main frustration with the first one was that she didn't have a very energetic pose. I think that's part of the reason I was having trouble inking her was because I wasn't happy with the underlying drawing and I think subconsciously my hand just was rebelling against drawing it. With this one, I had a clearer vision for it and the pose was working a lot better, so I had a much better time inking it. I gave her an oversized ugly Christmas sweater and I inked her hair on purpose to leave lots of areas where I could stripe different colors in so that she could have that peppermint looking hair. 
I also put peppermint swirls in her eyes just to go really ham. I always am sort of torn between simplicity and complexity when it comes to character designs. I'm always sort of subconsciously designing them as if I'm going to have to draw them in a comic. So I usually pull back a little bit compared to some other artists, I think. Um, but I also don't want it to be, you know, too plain or anything. So that's something I'm always trying to sort of decide between when I'm making my characters. I wanted her to look a little bit edgy because peppermints are a little bit spicy, at least in the candy family. Um, that really makes me remember that TikTok song where she's like, "That's that peppermint's too spicy, you know that song? Um, and honestly, I totally get that because even though I love spicy food, like I would like really spicy salsa and I like really spicy Indian food, I cannot handle mint at all. For some reason, I just like, I like, I can't, I still use children's toothpaste because I hate mint so much like it burns me so badly i'm not sure if i'm like allergic to menthol or what the problem is but like yeah i totally totally get get the girl who thinks the peppermint's too spicy like it's not it's not the same type of spice as like a good habanero or like you know whatever the hell they're putting in in uh, indian food which is super delicious I, I can totally handle that cannot handle peppermint um so this girl's a little too spicy for me so i gave her a little candy cane earring and some like upper earrings in her ears so she looks just a tiny bit edgier than you know my standard character design i was also going to give her a side shave on her head but i ended up not going with that because i thought it looked too cold I think I went a little crazy on the blending of my colors in the Gummy Girls illustration, so I decided to keep things a little more cell shaded in everywhere other than her skin. Because, I mean, candy, especially with hard candies, it doesn't really make sense that they'd be so soft looking. I think it's okay with a gummy candy because gummy candy is usually pretty soft, but for the peppermint, I wanted it to look more cell shaded, and I ended up liking it so much that I kind of wish I could go back and put some more cell shading on the gummy candy as well. I think I sometimes just get a little bit too soft and a little bit too overboard with the uh, the smudge brush, but I'm telling you, it's completely addictive. I just love smudging the colors. It's like my favorite thing ever, so I think I sometimes completely destroy drawings by smudging out the shading a little bit too much. I also decided to use a cool purple-blue kind of shade so that it would show up well on all the red parts. I think a lot of people still shade with a similar color to what's underneath it and it's actually better to go opposite of that on the color wheel so that it shows up well. If your colors are too similar then the shading will look a little bit weird and on some darker areas it might actually kind of disappear. Next up is my favorite candy of all time I think. It's the peanut butter cup based mostly on the Reese's peanut butter cup, so we have a little bit more colors and branding to work with. Um, but I just love peanut butter cups in general. I think that peanut butter and chocolate is the most delicious combination ever in the history of the universe. So um, my main focus with this one was trying to kind of get that like two peanut butter cup sort of look with her body type. So I just made sure that her hips and her chest were both very round and equal to each other. And then I used the sort of brown paper that goes around the, um, the Reese's peanut butter cup and made sort of a fancy looking little collar for her. And then also this weird little corsety thing in the middle of her waist. And I just kind of wanted it to subtly look like she's a peanut butter cup. Man, my videos are weird. Like what, what am I doing? I gave her a loose jacket kind of thing on her arms that looks like the wrapper of a Reese's. So I made it bright orange and I made it look sort of crinkly like it's made out of that plasticky sort of material. I think she ended up looking a little bit less like an aristocrat and a little bit more like a high fashion kind of model. And I think the part of that is because of the weird bangs I gave her. Those weren't for any reason in particular other than I thought they'd look good with the hairstyle up top. Um, so that's kind of the angle I went with it. She looks sort of nervous for some reason, but um, I'm not really sure why. I mean, you got nothing to worry about. You're, you're the best candy of all time. She's the only one that I could think of a good name for, and that's obviously Reese, because, um, you know, Reese, Reese's, Reese. I, I think I always say that wrong. Like, I, I always say Reese's, but I think you're supposed to say Reese's. Um, I don't know how to fix that now, because that's all I've ever known. But anyway, her name is Reese, just like the little pink alpaca from uh, Animal Crossing. I gave her um, a color scheme that's strictly chocolate and peanut butter looking, so I used a lot of browns and some lighter peanut buttery color for her skin. She kind of looks like she's using a little bit too much self-tanner, because it's a bit more orange than you typically see in a person's skin color, but I think she still looks kind of neat. I wanted her to look a little stiff and formal, 
um, just because I ended up using that like strange formal collar on her. So now she's some sort of like duchess of peanut butter and chocolate, I guess. So here's Reese and the other two. They still need names. Like I said, please name them in the comments if you can think of anything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Special thank you to all of my patrons, including Bambo, Kalpa Pong, Dr. Casket, Elizabeth Album, Evan Lanier, Hope Chilsom, Imagine Creation, JJ Jade, Carla Tapia, Blep, 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 Mycodactyl, Okamore, Ollie, Rachel Singh, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, The Artsy Moose, Yaboy ST, and Zoe Stardust.